my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm sharing the very, very highly requested what I got my girls for Christmas video. I didn't get to film one of these last year because I didn't finish Christmas shopping for them until Christmas Eve. So this year I'm prepared. Um, if this is the first video you're seeing, I have two daughters. Lucy is four, she'll be four and a half in January. And Stella is two and she'll be two and a half in February. I try to keep our holidays relatively simple because they don't like to play with a ton of toys and I don't like to store a ton of toys. But I will say that our kids have the greatest grandparents who absolutely spoil them too. So I don't need to go totally overboard because their grandparents do. But whatever you can do for your kids is going to be absolutely perfect. So I will link every single thing that I can down below and let's just get started. I'm gonna start with Santa presents. So the girls are getting basically the same thing from Santa. This is going to be Stella's Santa present. I shared this in my last vlog. It's a really cute Disney set. Found these at Walmart. They are a Walmart exclusive and you're gonna have to go in store to find them. So I'm not gonna be able to link these, but they are really cute. So Stella is getting Ariel and Lucy is going to get Rapunzel same concept, very cute. And then the other thing that Lucy asked for from Santa that she's never changed her mind on is that she wants a sled. So we haven't gotten them yet, but we are gonna get both the girls sleds um, for Christmas morning. Just gonna have my husband pick out some sleds um, and we'll do that soon, but we haven't done it yet. We live in Northern Illinois. There's no shortage of sleds here. We will find them, no problem. Do Lucy's presents because they're the closest to me. So let's do Lucy's. Once again, if you're new, Lucy is four. She'll be four and a half. So the first one, of her presents is nothing fancy. It's just these dress up stickers from Melissa and Doug. She loves these stickers so much. So we have Melissa and Doug stickers. I found this set on Amazon and they just screamed Lucy Claire. She loves to dress up and she loves jewelry. Lots of cute rings in there. Next thing that I got her after dress up rings is a pretend saw. My husband Shane is always doing projects and she just loves to help so I thought she would be really into this um, pretend saw. I know that she's gonna be so excited about this. It's a Stanley Junior five piece tool set. It comes with a hammer, screwdriver, um, tape measure. It's really cute and I know she's gonna love having it in the garage with all Shane's tools. And then this little kitchen Play-Doh set is something she asked for. She saw it on a commercial and she has wanted it. Um, she's talked about it for probably a month. So I grabbed this, it's just the Play-Doh kitchen creations set. She loves Play-Doh and plays with it all the time so I know she's gonna love this. This is another thing that she asked for. It's so fun to Christmas shop for her when she actually has like a real Christmas list of things she's asking for. This is a Polly Pocket seashell set. I don't know. It's the one she asked for. And it makes my heart very happy that she likes Polly Pockets because I loved Polly Pockets growing up. Loved them. The box is kind of broken on this, but this is the last physical thing that I have. The other two things I have for her um, haven't shown up yet. I think they're supposed to come today, but they're not here yet. This is an Ariel styling head. She had an Elsa one last year that um, Stella ended up destroying, but now she has another one. So that's all the stuff I have here for Lucy. And then I got her a very cute um, scientist lab coat set. Pretty sure it's out for delivery right now, so maybe it'll get here before I'm done filming this video, but um, I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen from Target. It's very cute. She's just been loving learning about science experiments and now she wants to be a scientist, so I thought that was a really good gift for her. And then the last thing that I got her physically pained me to buy, but I knew it would bring her joy. Um, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen right here. It's just a Ryan toy. If you guys have kids, you probably know who Ryan is on YouTube. Um, she loves him and she specifically asked for this thing from Ryan for Christmas. Like all the Ryan toys are way overpriced, but she asked for it and it's 2020 and I wanna give them a magical Christmas, so I got that for her. I forgot there's one more thing. I always get the girls at least one book for Christmas and I ordered her the Who You Were Made To Be. I think that's what it's called from Joanna Gaines, her new book. Um, it just looks really sweet. So I ordered that for her too. And I think that's also gonna be here today. Maybe I should have waited to film this a little bit, but there you go. Now we're gonna move on to Stella's stuff. So Stella is two. She will be two and a half in February. So she's just very much so two. 
but it's been fun picking things out for her because this is the first Christmas that she's had like actual interests that I know are gonna get her excited. So um, this is the first thing that I got her. Actually be for her and Lucy, but I'm just gonna let Stella open it. Cool drill thing, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, it says where construction meets creativity and it just seems right up my kid's alley, so I think they're gonna love that. I've been working on Stella's colors, so I think this would be a good way to work on her colors, so. Kind of a cool random gift that I found on Amazon. And then I have two sets of these Melissa and Doug stickers for Stella. Came in a pack of three, so one of them was gonna get two. They will both use them, so it doesn't really matter. Since these are raised, they're really easy to get off the paper, and that is why Stella loves these so much, so I just figured I'd give her two sets, I don't know. And then I picked out two books for Stella. She is just really loving flipping through books and reading all the time. So this is the one, two, threes of thankfulness. It is such a cute little book. I love it. And then the other book I got is Stella the Starfish. I think she's gonna be so excited to see her name on a book and she really loves stars. So I thought it was perfect. <laughs> Apparently Stella's theme this year is things named after her and stars. I had to get her this wee baby Stella doll for obvious reasons. I mean, her name is Stella. It comes with a book that says Stella's Ocean Buddy. And if any of you know Stella in real life, you know that she is baby obsessed. I've never met a child that is so in love with her baby dolls. Um, even though we have plenty, I couldn't pass this one up because I knew it would bring her joy. So another baby doll. <laughs> I know that she is going to be so happy about this. Um, I got Stella some pretend makeup or meat bop as she calls it. I don't know why she calls it meat bop, but it's my favorite thing in the world. So it comes with all these little compacts of pretend makeup. Um, there's like a little lipstick and a makeup brush. I get her some pretend makeup. Stella is in a Toy Story phase. She loves Toy Story, she loves Buzz. So when I saw this dress, I knew that I had to get it for her. Are you kidding me? I just don't see very many girly Toy Story things. Not that they need to be girly because obviously, I mean, Stella's next gift. I don't care about things being girly, but um, I just thought that this was fun, that it's a dress that she can just wear around the house, wear out and about, um, and it's Buzz. But like I was saying, I don't care if things are girly. This is Stella's next gift. She loves trucks, she loves dump trucks, she loves construction equipment. So when I saw this, I knew that she had to have it because Stella also really loves playing with Play-Doh. So I grabbed that for her. If Lucy asked for Spider-Man, I would get her some Spider-Man stuff. I just, I just don't care. They're kids, they can play with whatever they want. We just like balance in our life, you know? The last thing that I have here for Stella, which I'm really excited about, is this four-in-one wooden puzzle from Target. It has counting rings, it has numbers, and it has shapes. And it's just another thing that we can work on together and have up in our activity cabinet that we love to refill with new things. So, puzzle. That is it for the girls' presents. I don't think I have anything else for Stella that I ordered that's not here yet. I'm going to show you what stocking stuffers I have. Then I will share a couple recommendations and some things that Shane's mom got the girls for Christmas and a couple things that my mom got the girls for Christmas because they are really good ideas. They just bought them for my kids. I love stockings on Christmas. They're like my favorite part of Christmas. Give me all the little knickknacks and socks. Happy camper. I got Stella some fuzzy socks. You have to get fuzzy socks in any stocking that I'm putting together you have to have fuzzy socks. So this is just a two pack that I found. They were $2.99 for two, and they do have the grippers on the bottom, which is necessary for my kids. And she's getting these honey stick um, beeswax crayons. Not much to say about those, they're just crayons. <laughs> and then she's getting her first electric toothbrush. I bet she's gonna think this is so cool, and it just has Buzz's face on it. I found these in the Target dollar spot, and I could not say no. They were only $1 each, and how cute are they? She's gonna be so excited. Ordered a set of Hatchimals. If you guys saw my vlog like a few videos ago, I ended up giving the girls the Hatchimals that I had for their stockings. Um, I just gave them to them because I'm terrible at holding on to gifts. Um, so she has Hatchimals coming. They both love Hatchimals, so I'm just gonna split them in half and give half to her and half to Lulu. And then I'm probably just gonna get a little Christmas candy and throw it in there and call it good. And in Lucy's stocking, she is getting this honey stick watercolor paint. Just very fancy paint that I know she's gonna love. She is really starting to love painting a lot. I'm actually just gonna split these in half between their stockings. They are pretty cool and they have way better ingredients in these than like the Crayola bath crayons. So I have those. Is also getting a toothbrush. She has Ariel. She's getting another Polly Pocket. I'm probably gonna have to take this out of the box. She had a little one like this a few months ago that she kept in the car and she loved it. And then I ran over it with my tire. So 
had to get her a new one. And then the last thing that I got her is this Dig It Dino Dinosaur Egg Excavation. Um, it looks pretty cool. You just dig and find a dinosaur figurine in it. I don't know. It was a couple dollars and I thought she would like it. She is getting some Hatchimals and she is also getting fuzzy socks. I haven't found any yet. I'm going to find her some this week. Um, again, there's fuzzy socks everywhere. I'm not concerned about finding those. So that is everything that our girls are getting from us personally. Um, I think it's plenty. I know some people watching this might think it's not very much at all and some people might think it's way too much, but I think it's Plenty for the girls. They are going to be so excited about all of these things. But I did just want to tell you really quickly a few of the things that my parents and Shane's parents also are getting the girls that I think um, are really good gift ideas and I want to share. I have them written down and I will just put a picture up here once I find it. Um, but Shane's mom got the girls magnetiles. I will link them down below. I'm sure you've seen them before, but we actually have never had any, surprisingly and I know that the girls are gonna love those. My mom got Lucy a spirograph, which I was planning on getting her, but then my mom got it first. So she loves drawing and I'm sure she's gonna think it's really cool. My mom also got the girls a Hungry Hungry Hippos game, which randomly Lucy asked for for Christmas and then she found a fun unicorn version. That's a very good gift idea if you have a couple toddlers um, and it's definitely a game that like younger kids can play as long as they're not gonna eat the balls. But big gift that Shane's mom is getting both the girls is she got them the Amazon Fire Kids tablets with headphones. That's gonna be absolutely perfect for them if we're on the go. And then I know there's so many like learning games that you can put on the Fire tablet, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm seeing now that I forgot to say a couple things for stocking stuffers that I did order that are coming today. Um, I ordered both the girls flashcards. So I ordered Stella these um, color flashcards. We love this brand of flashcards. They're amazing. And I ordered Lucy some sight word flashcards for her stocking. She told me a couple weeks ago that she really wants to learn how to read books. I figured we would get sight word flashcards and start working on that. I mean, she is gonna be in kindergarten next year, so why not? A few things that we already own and love and I know are really good gifts. I have these stacking flowers from Amazon. Stella actually played with them all morning. Um, and they are an awesome gift idea for anyone. Lucy and Stella both love to play with them. And then the water coloring mat that we have, they love to play with that as well. And it just lays out on the floor and they can just color with it and then it goes away once it dries. The last thing that I thought I would mention that we have and love, we have two of them. They're these drawing tablets from Amazon. They are so cool. I love to draw on them. I use them all the time. Um, Shane's mom got the girls these during quarantine at some point and they use them constantly so i can't recommend these enough i think they're around twenty dollars super excited to get all of this wrapped i hope i could give you some good gift ideas um i will link every single thing that i possibly can down below so look in the description for any links and i hope that this season brings you lots of joy and not stress i know that the holiday season can be really really hard financially to give you some good affordable ideas please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already please stick around i love to post vlogs cleaning videos home decor, whatever the heck I feel like, I love to post over here. Thank you so much for supporting me and I will see you in my next video, bye.